So this question says, in the xy plane, so I'm going to just draw an xy plane. There's my y-axis, there's my x-axis. The equations x plus 2y equals 10, so I'm going to just write that down, x plus 2y equals 10. Now, the fact that I got this equation, and I know I can convert it into y equals mx plus b form, and I know that I'm dealing with, you know, an xy plane here, I'm going to just convert this into this format right away here. So I have my x plus 2y equals 10. I can subtract x from both sides there. x is gone. I have 2y equals negative x plus 10. I can then divide everything by 2, leaving me with y equals negative, I'm going to call this 1 half x instead of negative x over 2. So I can see the m value clearly defined. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5, right? So there's my equation for that line. I'm going to even draw it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is my y-intercept coming from the b portion here. And then down 1, and I'll use a different color, down 1 and to the right twice, which would mean I have a one and a two here. That'd be my next point. So my line will look something like this. So that's the first equation. It says, and three X plus six Y equals C represent the same line for some constant C. So what does that mean? There's some value of C that makes this equation here give me the exact same graph. Well, if it gives me the exact same graph, that means it must also give me the exact same equation. So let's convert this to slope-intercept form as well. Remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So again, I'm just converting this 3x plus 6y equals c into y equals mx plus b format. So I'm again, I'm going to rewrite the 3x plus 6y equals c, subtract 3x from both sides, I'm left with 6y equals negative 3x plus c. I can then divide everything by 6. And what I'm left with here is y equals, now negative 3 over 6 reduces to negative 1 half x. And then I have plus c over 6. So we can see that the first portion of the equation, y equals negative 1 half x, matches for both of these. It's just this last part c over 6, and 5. But we know that these equations, we want to be equivalent because they're going to represent the exact same line. So that gives me the next and final step of my problem here, which is how do I get c over 6 to equal 5? Well, I just multiply both sides by 6 here, and I'm left with c equals 30. So that's the c value that makes both of those equations the same.